Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about reptiles. So, <clears throat> so let us look at the basic characteristics. They mostly live on land. However, sometimes they might be seen in water as well. Scales are present on their bodies. Respiration happens through lungs because they spend most of their time on land. So the respiratory organ is lungs. Two pairs of limbs present if any. Now it is not necessary for reptiles that limbs will always be present. So one example is snake. So in snake you do not see four limbs right. So if it is, if at all it is present it has to be two pairs. Movement, crawling. Cold-blooded animals, three-chambered heart. So the circulation system is exactly the same as that of amphibians. Exception is crocodile which has a four-chambered heart. So we discussed this in one of our previous slides. Reproduction happens by laying eggs. So they do not give birth directly to their young ones. So some of the examples of reptiles would be turtle, chameleon, go cobra, and lizard. These are some of the examples of reptiles. Let us talk about the organ systems of reptiles. So here if you talk about the digestive system they have a complete digestive tract with all the different organs present in place like mouth, salivary glands, esophagus, stomach, intestine and cloaca. So cloaca is used for excretion or ejection purpose. Respiratory system Respiration happens through the skin surface as well as through lungs. Circulatory system is closed type that is blood vessels are present. So blood flows through these tube like structures and also they have three chambers in their heart that is two auricles and one ventricle. Talking about the excretory system and then the sense organs they have eyelids and a tympanum is also present which represents the ear. Reproduction, sexes are separate, internal fertilization, so the fusion will happen inside the body. Oviparous, they lay eggs, direct development, that is no larval stage involved. Let us look at the next category that is apes. So in apes, we are going to talk about the birds. So here if you see the limbs are not present instead, I mean they are present, but there are a modified form of it in the form of feathers. So scales are absent here and the skin is dry. This is unlike reptiles and amphibians. In both reptiles and amphibians, we saw that the skin was moist. So here the skin is dry. Bony endoskeleton, that is the internal skeleton is made up of bones. Respiration happens through lungs. Movement with the help of feathers and modified four limbs. So the four limbs, that is the front limbs in case of birds are also modified. And the feathers also help in their movement, that is it helps it in flying. Warm blooded, that is these are the first animals which are capable of regulating their body temperature. So they are similar to human beings, that is if outside it is hot, they can control their or they, they can reduce that internal temperature of their body. They have that capability, so they are warm blooded. They have a four chambered heart. So in this case, they have two auricles and two ventricles. Reproduction happens by laying eggs. So they also do not give birth to their young ones directly. So we will look at some of the examples of apes, that is birds. So here you can see different types of birds. Most of the birds are capable of flying. However, there are few exceptions to it. For example, ostrich, which is not capable of flying. Let us now discuss the closed circulatory system of apes that is how the circulation process takes place in case of a four chambered heart. So this is very similar to that of human beings. So they, you have four chambered heart with two auricles and two ventricles. So the concept will still remain the same but we will just see what kind of circulation takes place here. So in this case, since we have two auricles and two ventricles, so there is no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Double circulation takes place even in this case. So let us suppose, let us suppose this is the heart with four chambers. This is right auricle, 
this is left auricle this is right ventricle and this is left ventricle so this is the heart now let us suppose these are the respiratory organs that is lungs so the lungs will send the oxygenated blood to the left auricle so left auricle being the receiving chamber will receive the oxygenated blood then it will send this blood to the left ventricle and the left ventricle will send this oxygenated blood to different parts of the body now in different parts of the body the oxygen will get used up and the deoxygenated blood will be sent back to the right auricle right auricle will send it to right ventricle and then right ventricle will send it back to the lungs so this is how the flow will take place so if you look at it carefully you will see that right auricle here deals with only deoxygenated blood left auricle deals only with oxygenated blood similarly right ventricle deals with only deoxygenated blood and left ventricle deals only with oxygenated blood so there is no way that oxygenated and deoxygenated blood can get mixed up together so that is one advantage of having four chambers in in the heart so this is how double circulation takes place because in this case also the blood flow passes the heart twice in one cycle so that is why it is known as double circulation so this circulatory system is the same for apes as well as for the mammals so high rate of oxygen rich but blood flow in this case let us talk about reproduction sexes are separate here also internal fertilization that is the fusion takes place inside the body oviparous they lay eggs development is direct that means they lay eggs but from eggs directly a mature i mean mature in the sense directly a bird is formed it is not some intermediate there is no intermediate stage or there is no larval stage involved Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.